Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and welcome to another video. And this is an awesome video because today they finally revealed what the artwork cover art box art will look like for both the deluxe and standard editions of the Halloween complete collection Blu-ray box set which as all of you guys know I'm sure both sets are due out later this year. So yeah, we didn't know what the artwork would look like for both sets until today, and they have finally revealed it, so obviously I had to do a video showing you guys what both sets look like and give my opinions on what I think of them. So we're going to start with the standard edition, and this is the 10 disc set of course, and I'm absolutely loving what they've done with the artwork. Um, they've made it slightly different to any other Halloween release. Of course you've got the classic image of Michael there and he looks absolutely fantastic. Awesome detail, especially on the mask. And I'm really, really liking the vintage look. So that's pretty much it. They haven't shown what the discs look like or given any stats on the discs or special features. So that's pretty much all we have. But yeah, that's enough for now. The artwork looks absolutely incredible. So now we're going to move on to the Deluxe Edition. And wow, what an incredible job they have done with the box art on this. Also, you have the um, discs, what the discs look like. So of course, 15 discs. We're going to get to that later on. But anyway, for now, we're going to focus on the artwork and once again, they have kept it fairly simplistic, and I'm absolutely loving it. So the artwork is different to any other release, and I kind of thought they'd go with a montage look for the deluxe edition at least, and sort of have images from all the different films. I'm kind of glad they didn't do that. I'm absolutely loving the look of the artwork. They've gone with like a sort of paint style look to the covers, and I'm absolutely loving it. So on the front you have the classic image of Michael on the stairs. Classic scene from the original film. He looks awesome. It looks great. Uh, then on the back you have another really awesome image of Michael standing behind a tree outside. And I absolutely love that. So cannot wait to get this into my collection on display on my shelves. The artwork looks absolutely amazing, and in all honesty, I couldn't wish for anything better. Uh, the artwork on the side looks awesome. Of course, you've got the classic pumpkin from the original film. Now moving on to the discs, and uh, this is where things kind of get interesting. So you have the 15 discs there, and the artwork on them is all fantastic. So I'm going to quickly run through the discs, or at least what I think they are. So... First up, you've got the theatrical cut of Halloween, which I believe is the same release as the 35th anniversary edition we got. Then next to it, we have the um, TV cut or the extended cut of Halloween. Next to that, we have the um, Halloween 2 theatrical cut, which I'm guessing is the same disc as the Screen Factory release. Then next to that, we have the extended or TV cut of Halloween 2. Next to that we have Halloween 3 which again I'm guessing is the same disc as the Screen Factory release. Then we have Halloween 4 and 5 which I'm not too sure if this is the same as a previous release or they're going to do a new one. Then we have Halloween 6. Now the first disc is the theatrical cut from what I can see written on the disc. Then next to that we have the producer's cut. Then we have H2O and Resurrection. Again, I'm not too sure if they're going to be the same discs as the previous um, US releases. I'm not too sure. Now this is where things get interesting. I heard a lot of mixed things on the versions we'll get for both of the Rob Zombie films. So as you can see, there's um, two discs for the first Halloween Rob Zombie remake. And it doesn't look like the theatrical cut there. It looks like the same two discs out of the two disc unrated collector's edition set from the US. I already own that and I can tell that the discs are the same in terms of artwork. So we have the first disc here which seems to be the movie with the special features. 
Then the next disc to that, which you can't really see too well, but I can kind of tell from the artwork on the top that it is the same as the disc for the four and a half hour documentary. So that's pretty cool. Then next to that, of course, we have Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. And then the final disc seems to be the bonus features or special features disc. So that's my quick rundown of the discs and what they will contain. But yeah, I'm absolutely ecstatic for this box set. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And I really don't think they could have done any better in terms of artwork. So even more excited to get the set now. Um, will I get both sets for the different artwork? I'm not too sure. I'm definitely going to get the deluxe version first. And I may wait for a price drop. And then uh, think about getting the standard release as well. But yeah, cannot wait for the set. So definitely let me know what you think of the artwork in the comment section below I'm sure most of you will love it and that pretty much does it for this video so hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks a lot for watching